Hi there, I am Gurmail and I'm a menopausal health coach and I'm involved with United in Diversity. Hi, and my name is Huda. I am Lebanese, Australian. I am involved with also with United in Diversity. Huda, you are not involved with United in Diversity. She is United in Diversity. You, Safa and Oi are the pioneers of the Kitchen of Diversity. Oh, you kind, Karmal. <laughs> Yes, Gurmal, I love cooking mm -hmm. and also I love share my uh, food culture from everyone. So it's going to be a very simple, easy dish. Um, so it's going to be a Middle Eastern dish with lentils, is that right? Yes, this is the name of shorba yeah. uh, in my uh, country and also use it freshly. Yeah. Uh, use it, you know, with parsley, fresh parsley and yeah. also uh, lemon uh, juice, uh, fresh yeah. lemon juice. And my kids love it, mm -hmm. and everyone I think so when you eat, she just love it. Yeah. Of so it I sounds like a very simple, light, refreshing dish with simple ingredients. Yes. And people with allergies, like say for dairy and gluten, can also have it. Yeah, we can add it if you like, you know, something okay. inside, or maybe you can do it if you don't like to make it with meat, also you can right. do. Awesome. Yes. Thank you. No. So Huda, can you tell me what is in the pan? Uh, we have oil first or you know and after uh, garlic uh, parsley mm -hmm. um, onion mm -hmm. and carrot and uh, you put it also capsicum yeah yeah this is dish you know I make this dish often for my kids because and my friends love it that one yeah this why I love it to this dish okay um, every time yeah you yeah. still and you know I have you know in the winter okay I, I do that one so it so during the pandemic, we realized more than ever the need for healthy cooking, right? Yeah. And, and shorba is made in North um, America. It's made in Morocco, Algeria, yes. Turkey. Yep. And um, from what I know, this shorba can also be made with beef, like a chunky soup with beef. Yes. Yeah, but okay. depend. You know, you can make it with the beef. You can vegetarian. You know okay. how people love. You can do it that one. That's great. But sometimes different something. You know, put maybe more veggie when you make it with. Well, I put in you know more okay. beef. Yeah, and also this is shorba. You know, she's you always in my country. She's using this shorba with kibba. With kibba. Yeah, with kibba. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's good. Now you, the Vic Park community, will demonstrate and show interest in learning how to cook or trying how to cook shorba now. And in the times of pandemic, VPCA, UID and Roots TV wish to showcase to you the rich diversity of WA by providing the little nuggets of knowledge of other cultures. If there is enough uptake, we will bring more such events to you in the future. We hope that this recipe is a welcome addition to the things you can cook on your own. You know what, Manta? What, sure. I think it would be a great idea if the Victoria Park Centre for the Arts invited our viewers to send us an email of between 15 and maximum 25 words describing why they should receive an ingredients box which will allow them to make Hoda's wonderful shorba recipe. Why not? Some funny and quirky emails. <laughs> and the funnier and the quirkier the better. Absolutely, let's do that. Let's give them the email address. Please submit your email to the address on the screen and as Manta said, it must be funny and it must be quirky and the panel here at United in Diversity and Victoria Park Centre for the Arts will advise you of the winning, winning entries and there will be four ingredients boxes available. Good luck everybody! <laughs>